accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather, sponsored by Dodge. Visit Dodge.com or your local dealer today. 10 News Pinpoint Meteorologist Craig Herrera tracking this system and there's still some rain out there. We're not done. Not yet, especially the north end of the county, the east county and Pinpoint Doppler Live will show us where that's at. And then we have another round to talk about and I'll tell you which commute's going to be affected the most for your Monday. Right now, look at the sweeps moving around the county. You've got some showers from uh, Palma Valley to Valley Center all the way up into Paul Brook, right through the Rainbow Gap and almost into Riverside County. Down to the south, right along the 8 from Alpine down to Del Zura. Not so much anywhere else from the coast to the inland valleys. So flash flood watch is still in place for the mountains through 8 p.m. We still have the potential to see some nice downpours. But look at this nice time lapse from Poway. A lot of showers coming through at times. And this is one of the places that got the most amount of rain. I've got some impressive rainfall totals for you. Poway 1.88 inches of rain, Rancho Bernardo 1.33, Lake Hodge is almost an inch, almost an inch for San Pasquale, Kearney Mesa 6 tenths, same for Escondido. You head on down the list and I pulled some of the higher numbers. Otay Mesa at 61, half an inch or so for Sarah Mesa. Boy, I could hear that coming down at night sometimes. Four tenths about for Carlsbad. Over at Lindbergh, only two tenths, but you can see where some of those heavy downpours came down. Look how gorgeous this shot is right now from La Jolla. Beautiful, right? Not so bad, but up to the north, there's a new storm coming on in. Temperatures right now, we talked about this being fairly warm system, mostly 60s, 70s for the deserts. We're at 48 in Julian, 64 Kearney Mesa, 65 in Chula Vista. Also mentioned this yesterday, weren't expecting big surf, only three to five, which is about average along uh, the coast. The system itself is centered right over the Sierra Nevada right there. You can notice the clouds moving in a counterclockwise rotation. This system is actually going to drop into Arizona. So rather than coming directly at us, it's going over to our east. So rainfall totals won't be too high with this next one. Rain future cast at midnight, maybe a couple of scattered showers from the 5 to the 15. The morning commute, I think, is going to be when we'll see some of the heavier stuff. 6 p.m., Carlsbad all the way down to San Diego. So 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. rather through 8 a.m. Heavy at times right along the coast and the inland locations. Fast forward to about lunch. Most of it moves up to the higher elevations and probably some more scattered showers and thunderstorms for the higher elevations about 4 p.m. After that, it is said and done. So not so bad. All right, the next seven days, we start to uh, see a little more sunshine, but we're going to have a good solid sea breeze. So we'll stay with the mid-60s at the coast. Clear for the rest of the week ahead after Monday. Again, spotty showers ranging from a tenth of an inch of rain to about three quarters of an inch of rain. 69 for inland locations tomorrow. Get up to 74 on Wednesday. Next weekend looks great, mid-70s. 52 for the mountains, so again, no snow, just rain. And the deserts, a few isolated showers. Showers for them tomorrow only adding up to about a tenth of an inch of rain or so, but boy, this is really helping out quite a bit, right? Yeah. With our nice rainfall. Some pretty impressive totals, almost two inches in Poway. Can you believe that? Yeah, yeah it, it came, came down hard. Hard and fast. Yeah. All right, thanks, Craig. Certainly.